Top 10 power rankings, top 10 power ranking. Who's in and who's out? Oh, man, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. There's a lot of good teams out there. There's a lot of teams out there. Or the Eagles in or the Eagles out. You already know what we're about to do. Cue the music. Let's make this epic. Ah, uh, looking at it. Here we go. Here we go. Top 10. Top 10 power rankings this week in week five. Ah, uh, the birds. Birds are on a bye. So who knows? Will they be in the top 10? Let's find out. Uh, according to NFL Pro Ranking, number 10. This team I said already was going to be my top five NFL shockers, and they're doing what I said they were going to do. Number two quarterback in the NFL draft is shocking the NFL world like I said he was going to do. You know who I'm talking about. They're shocking the world right now, putting up some big points. Who am I talking about? The Washington Commanders. Number nine. A lot of controversy with this team. A lot of controversy right now. I'm not understanding, but I want to understand why they are still in the top 10 for what happened last week. They went down to Tampa Bay and got shellacked down there. Yes, minus no A.J. Brown. Minus no Devontae Smith. Minus no Lane Johnson. But at the end of the day, some way, somehow, they're going into the bye week at two and two. Who am I talking about? My guy. My guy. Me and the Mamba. Ride with the Philadelphia Eagles. Number eight. You look at this team, team definitely wasn't wasn't no one trick pony now. They went out there, they got a quarterback. Then they went out there and traded. They out who thought it was going to be a problematic receiver. But guess what? He came from Buffalo to the Houston Texans and made him out there. Ball. Oh! They're going to be minus Joe Mixon coming into this week. Who am I talking about? Talking about the Houston Texans. Number seven. This team, at week one, we went out there. And we did what we did in, like my brother said. Brother! And did what we did. At the end of the game, Jordan Love got injured. For two weeks, their backup, Willis, came and put up two wins. Then they came out. And, ah, they should have won that game, but they didn't. But doesn't matter. They fell short to the Minnesota Vikings. Who am I talking about? Talking about the Green Bay Packers. Number six. This is a little bit of a shocker to me. It looks like they just seem like every time they win, they have to prove something to the NFL world. And it seems like when it comes to the skybox, the skybox agrees. Sam Darnold, as of right now, in this first quarter of this season, is the MVP. They are out there wrecking shop, doing their thing. 
they can almost say at this point, they can hide no more. Who am I talking about? Oh, Justin Jefferson's doing it. And the Skull's doing it. Who am I talking about? Ah, Minnesota Vikings. Number five. Seems like after they picked it up, they said to themselves, you know what? We're not going to put it down. We're not going to put it down. Because I think we got something here. Lamar, turn around. Who do you got? He looks at everybody, looks at the world, said that's easy. I got a 260 some odd pound running back that's still wrecking shot. Out there leading Russia right now in the NFL. Who's that? King Henry. That defense said, excuse me, excuse me. We're not too shabby either. Who am I talking about? Very simple, very easy. It's the Baltimore Ravens. Now, going into number four. They had a hiccup. They had a hiccup. They showed they're real. They got a kink in their armor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what they do now that they got that kink in their armor. Watch Allen said, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. We got hit in the mouth. We're going to step back, brush it off, and do what we do best. We build mafia. Who am I talking about? You already know who it is. Hello, Bill. Number three, I say is a little bit controversial myself, but somehow, in some way, they fought their way to a two and two coming into week five. They had no Kittle. They had no Debo. And they had no C-Mac. Some way they seem like they just keep on getting on these charts. I don't understand because they will fall sooner or later, but sooner or later is not now. Oh no, not now. They're still hanging on. They still have a little couple little pieces here and there. Who am I talking about? Oh yeah. Talking about from San Francisco 49. Number two. Seems like just this week, just this week. Oh, the champs got a fall. Oh, the champs got a fall. They got a fall. They're going down. They're going down one notch. Still undefeated. Still two time defending champ. Still doing their thing. So why do we take them at number two? I don't know. That's what pro football analysts say. Number two is the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Kansas City Chiefs are number two. Who's number one? Oh, oh. We doubted them. We sat back and we doubted them, y'all. We doubted them way too long now. Jared Goff said, it's time to stand up. Dan Campbell said, boys, it's time to stand up. Amron St. Brown said, I'm not standing up. I'm standing on business. Well, Easy and simple. You're at the number one spot now. You're, you're the king of the mountain for this week. What you gonna do with that? What you gonna do with that court? What you gonna do with that crown? Who am I talking about? Easy and simple. I'm talking about the Detroit 
quiet. You see the top 10. I want to see your comments below. If you like this video, look to see who was in the power rankings in week four, and now who's in the power rankings in week five. So now who's in and who is out.